Want to speak real Persian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at PersianPod101.com. Immersion is often hailed as the most efficient and effective way to learn a foreign language. In many ways, it's true. With all the language learning methods out there, nothing else comes close to having to think and interact with your environment in the language you're learning. Unfortunately, though, most language learners wrongly assume that the only way to experience language immersion is to pack up and move to a foreign country. But not everyone can afford to spend a summer abroad just to learn a foreign language. Luckily, there are other ways to immerse yourself. These methods are less obvious, but they are effective. In this video, we'll take a look at five steps you can take for the ultimate language immersion experience at home. Number one, transform your digital world into your target language. Technology is an indispensable part of modern life. We interact with phones, computers, tablets, and other electronic devices throughout the day. Why not take these interactions and use them to practice your target language? Most devices give you the option of switching the language of the operating system. Switching your phone or laptop interface to your target language won't make you fluent, but it will help you engage with the language in a very practical way multiple times every day. Another way to transform your digital life is to check which sites you use on a daily basis and use them in your target language also. A great example of this is switching your version of Google. Using Google in your target language will allow you to search for things in that language and you're more likely to get results in that language as well. So if you're looking for a popular band, a show, or food, something that's usually written in your target language, it will actually be easier to find information about it if you switch your version of Google. Of course, you can also change popular social networks like Facebook or Twitter. You can even go to news sites for your fill of global news. Do you like podcasts? Try listening to a couple popular podcasts in your target language. Number two, write out a speech or conversation in your target language. A surefire way to increase your ability in a foreign language is to write out a mock conversation or speech in that language. Pretend you have to give a speech on one of your favorite topics. It could be anything from sports, hobbies, or even your favorite movie genre. Now, take some time to write out your fictitious speech. Inevitably, you will hit some roadblocks, but when you get stuck, research the words or grammar points you don't know. This is a highly effective and practical way to increase your vocabulary, and it'll help you practice thinking in a different language. Writing a long, connected train of thoughts exposes the gaps and weaknesses in your language studying. Once you know what these are, you're free to practice them and use them to continue on with your speech. This is also a great way to learn new words in the context of your entire speech. Context is king when you're learning a language. Learning words in the context of other words and sentences helps you surmise what new words mean. It also helps you get comfortable with how these words are practically used. Not to mention, context helps you to remember and recall new information more easily. Number three, practice with native speakers. There are a lot of great learning resources out there for anyone learning a new language. However, nothing quite comes close to practicing the language with a real person. If you live in or around a large metropolitan area, there's a chance that there are some native speakers nearby. Check and see if your area has any local language exchanges or language speaking groups. You're likely to find a native speaker there. If you can't make a connection locally, you can search online. Just as there are language exchanges in the real world, there are also online ones, most of which are free. Number four, connect with other language learners. Native speakers aren't the only people who can aid you on your language learning journey. Practicing with other learners is also helpful. Don't worry if you practice with someone who has a higher or lower level in the language than you. If you're the more advanced learner, you can learn a lot by teaching someone else. As you help someone else understand difficult words or grammatical concepts, you'll find that you start to better understand them yourself. If your learning partner has a higher level, they can be the one to help you overcome the hurdles you encounter as a beginner. After all, what better way to learn than from someone who, as a language learner, has been in your shoes? Number five, reward yourself in your target language. At the end of a busy day, we all love a little relaxation and me time. One of the most enjoyable and effective ways to develop your language skills is to kick back and enjoy the language while doing leisure activities. Whether it's listening to music, watching a movie or TV show, reading a book, or even enjoying a good online video binge, 
Even spending just an extra 30 minutes a day doing something you love in your target language can yield some serious long-term results. If you're a beginner, start with more basic content. You might have to start out listening to simple songs or even watching children's shows. After a while, though, you'll be able to dive into the meatier stuff and more engaging stuff as your proficiency increases. Learning a foreign language doesn't mean you have to spend your days straining over grammar rules or textbooks. Any way that you can take your learning off the page and make it more enjoyable will help you learn faster. Immersion is a powerful way to learn a foreign language. And now, more than ever, the immersion experience isn't limited to just world travelers. With a little creativity and the right resources, you can experience the language without ever having to leave your hometown. Many of these resources can be found with our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to immerse yourself in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speak real Persian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at PersianPod101.com. Red. Permez. Permez. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant. Room. Otak. Otak. Salt. Namak. Namak. Salty. Chur. Chur. Say. Guftan. Guftan. Seafood. Kazoye Daryoi. Kazoye Daryoi. September. September. September. Seven. Half. Half. Seventeen. Hifda. Hifda. Shirt. Blouse. Pirohan. Pirohan. Shop. Kharid Kardan. Kharid Kardan. Six. Shish. Shish. Sixteen. Shons da. Shons da. Sofa. Kanape. Kanape. Speak. Sohbat kardan. Sohbat kardan. Spicy. Tond. Tond. Stomach. Mede. Mede. Store. Forushka Forushka Student Danish Amuz Danish Amuz Study Dars Khandan Dars Khandan Sugar Shikar Shikar Sunday Tiek Shambe Tiek Shambe Sunglasses Einake of Toby Einake of Toby Sunny Of Toby Of Toby Table Miz Miz Talk Sohbat Kardan 
صحبت کردن تاکسی تاکسی تاکسی تی چای چای تیچ درس دادن درس دادن teacher معلم معلم با توپ توپ باله باله باله بالون بادکنک بادکنک باند گروه گروه بار بار بار باربیکیو باربیکیو باربیکیو Baseball. Baseball. Baseball. Basketball. Basketball. Basketball. Beach. Sahel. Sahel. Beach volleyball. Volleyball Saheli. Volleyball Saheli. Beekeeping. Zamburdari. Zamburdari. Beer. Abejo. Abejo. Bellboy. Pishredmat. Pishredmat. Bicycle racing. Musabaghe do chakha savari. مسابقه دو چرخ سواری بایک رایدینگ دو چرخ سواری دو چرخ سواری بیلیاردز بیلیارد بیلیارد بایوگرافی زندگی نامه زندگی نامه bird watching parande negari parande negari blog weblog weblog blues blues blues board game bazi takhtei بازی تخته‌ای بوردینگ پاس کارت پرواز کارت پرواز بوت قایق قایق باب سلد باب سلد Bob sled. Body building. Parvarish and dom. Parvarish and dom. Book. Ketob. Ketob. Bowling. Bowling. Bowling. boxing books books brewing abjosazi abjosazi bridge pull pull broadcast 
پخش کردن پخش کردن Want to speak real Persian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at persianpod101.com. فارسی یاد گرفتن سرگرم کننده و آسونه. Persian is fun and easy to learn. فارسی یاد گرفتن سرگرم کننده و آسونه. Persian is fun and easy to learn. Yes, it is absolutely And this is really um, beautiful. And when you uh, start to learn Persian, you open the door of Persian's uh, treasure of culture, beauty, and even wisdom. First, you khodam daram yad migiram. I'm learning Persian all by myself. First, you khodam daram yad migiram. I'm learning Persian all by myself. Nowadays, with internet, all free uh, materials and Um, good uh, resources for learning. You can uh, do self-learning um, fast and easy, but if it was 50 years ago, um, it wasn't that much easy. Man, har chua ke gofti kamel fahmidam. I completely understood everything you said. Man, har chua ke gofti kamel fahmidam. I completely understood anything you said is perfect. Congratulations. It means you can easily communicate with the Persians and you can speak with them easily. Man, I want to become a Persian language teacher. Man, I want to become a Persian language teacher. I was a teacher before when I was in Iran and I know uh, being and working as a muallim is very interesting and it is full of fun. دوست دارم بتونم یه روز کتاب ترجمه کنم. I'd like to be able to translate books. دوست دارم بتونم یه روز کتاب ترجمه کنم. I'd like to be able to translate books some days. I hope you really can do that. Uh, the books of Rumi and Khayyam, uh, the Persian poet of 800 years ago, and now are among the bestseller of U.S. Uh, books. استفاده کردن از انرژی های پاک To use clean energies. استفاده کردن از انرژی های پاک To use clean energies. با استفاده از انرژی های پاک آلودگی هوای کمتری خواهیم داشت. By using clean energies, we will have less air pollution. Renewable energy resources like wind and solar power generate electricity, uh, cause lot or even um, no pollution, and uh, um, of course global warming. As محیط زیست مراقبت کردن to care for the environment uh, از محیط زیست مراقبت کردن to care for the environment شما چگونه از محیط زیست مراقبت می کنید؟ How do you care for the environment? Uh, for me, caring of the environment is accompanying with a big less yeah, always less power less water and please make less rush as محصولات دوستدار اکوسیستم استفاده کردن to use eco-friendly products از محصولات دوستدار اکوسیستم استفاده کردن to use eco-friendly products لباس های نخی از محصولات دوستدار محیط زیست هستند Cotton clothing is an eco-friendly product. When I was pregnant, I always was very caring about the product which I use, about the clothes, makeups, and I always read the labels. Is that organic? Is that 100% natural? And I taking care of maybe my baby also is uh, like that. But um, um, anyway, uh, the eco-friendly products are not meaning 100% natural. Any products uh, 
we don't harm environment uh, even during the production called eco-friendly. So maybe a product which uh, made 100% from recycled, maybe it can be considered as eco-friendly product. Abra hadar nadadan, not to waste water. Abra hadar nadadan, not to waste water. برای جلوگیری از خشکسالی آب را هدر ندهیم. To prevent droughts, let's not waste water. Yes, please. Do not leave the tap running when you are washing your teeth. And um, when you are washing the dishes, when you have to come up from the bath halfway for answering your phone. As وسایل نقلیه مومی استفاده کردن To use public transport. As vasayel naqliyeye umumi estefade kardan. To use public transport. Chand bar dar hafte as vasayel naqliyeye umumi estefade mi konid? How many times a week do you use public transportation? When I was a student, I almost used public transportation every day. But um, nowadays, with a small baby, I rarely use them. Uh, how about you? چند بار در هفته از وسایل نقلیه عمومی استفاده می کنید؟ Accountant حسابدار حسابدار Adjective صفت صفت Afternoon بعد از ظهر بعد از ظهر Air conditioner. دستگاه تهویه هوا. دستگاه تهویه هوا. Airplane. هواپیما. هواپیما. Airport. فرودگاه. فرودگاه. Alcohol. الکل. الکل انکل قوزه کپا قوزه کپا اپتایزر پیش غذا پیش غذا اپل سیب سیب اپرکاتس زردالو زردالو April. Avril. Avril. Arm. Saet. Saet. Arrive. Residan. Residan. Attic. Otor Zir Shirvani. اتاق زیر شیروانی آگست آگست آگست آتم پاییز پاییز بک دور در پشتی در پشتی Backbone. ستون فقرات ستون فقرات Banana. موز موز Want to speak real Persian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at persianpod101.com. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 Minutes, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Persian. Salam, man Anita. Az didanet khoshbakhta. Hi, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. In this series, you're going to learn basic Persian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes 3 minutes. In this lesson, you will learn how to introduce yourself in Persian. There are only two sentences you need to learn. But first, it is important to clarify 
that in Persian, there is a difference between formal and informal language. First, let's see how Persian people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Salam, man Anita am. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Hi, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. Salam, man Anita am. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Start by saying salam, which means hi. Then say man, I, your name, and then am, which means to be or am. Salam, man Anita am. Persian word order is different than English. Word for word, this literally means hi, I, Anita, am. Finally, Say, Az didanet khoshbakhtam. This means, nice to meet you. Salam, man anitam. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Now let's look at the same sentence in formal speech. Salam, man anaita hastam. Az didanet shoma khoshbakhtam. Hello, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. Salam, man anita hastam. از دیدن شما خوشبختم. So, what has changed from the informal introduction? Let's take a closer look. The informal man anitam has turned into man anita hastam. In both cases, man stands for I or me. Hastam means am and it's added to the end of the formal introduction instead of just am. Am is actually just the short version of hastam, which is the to be verb conjugated for the first person. Finally, pay attention to how nice to meet you changes. We went from az didanet khoshbakhtam to az didane shoma khoshbakhtam. Here, didanet and didane shoma are different. Didanet is used when speaking informally to only one person. It is formed by adding et, meaning your, to the end of didan, meaning seeing or meeting. In the formal version, instead of et, we add e shoma. Shoma is the formal word for you and can be used whether you're speaking to one person or a group of people. Once again, the informal way to introduce yourself in Persian is salam, man anita, as didanet khoshbakhtam. The formal way to introduce yourself is Salam, man Anita hastam. Az didan shoma khoshbakhtam. Now it's time for Anita's advice. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Persian culture. And if you're not sure whether to use Az didan khoshbakhtam or Az didan shoma khoshbakhtam, you can simply say khoshbakhtam. However, if you use the full correct sentence with Persian people, they're definitely going to be impressed. Do you know how to say thank you in Persian? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Khodafez! Salam! Salam! Chetori, khubi? Man khubam, to khubi? Man ham khubam, farda mi binamet. Khodafez! In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Iran. Are you ready? Then let's get started. The most commonly used informal greeting is Salam. Salam. Salam means hi or hello. We use it when we meet someone or enter a room with people in it. We can use it as a greeting almost anywhere. After Salam, we almost always say how are you when we greet friends or close relatives. It might seem strange to say it every time, but this is a part of normal everyday conversation in Persian. Let's try out the informal way of saying hello, how are you? Salam, chetori. Chetori. The I in chetori makes this sentence second person. The formal way becomes slightly longer. Add, hale shoma, which means your health. Salam, hale shoma chetore. Hale shoma chetore. Hale shoma chetore literally means how is your health. We use the word shoma, you, instead of saying chetori, 
to make this more formal. Now, if you remember the first lesson, adding et to a word made it informal. Therefore, if you add et to hal instead of e, shoma, you make the whole sentence informal. Salam, halet chetore. Halet chetore. Notice that there are many ways of saying the same phrase in Persian, making it shorter or longer. But remembering the basic words will help you get through almost any conversation. Literally, salam means hello. We use other phrases too, but we always add salam at the start of a greeting. In the morning, we say salam, sob bechayr. Sob bechayr. Sob is Persian for morning, and bechayr means to be good. So it really means wishing you a good morning. In Persian, we don't say good afternoon or good evening very much. Good morning and good night are used more often. During the rest of the day, the most common greeting is just salam. Good night is shab bechayr. Shab bechayr. Notice that we didn't say salam before shab bechayr. That's because we don't say good night when we meet someone. It is only used when leaving. In Persian, there is only one word for saying goodbye, but there is a small difference between the formal and informal versions. Formal. Khoda hafez. Khoda hafez. Informal. Khoda fez. Khoda fez. Khoda hafez literally means may God protect you, but it is used to say goodbye. Now you have learned many different ways to greet people in Persian. Let's review them all one more time. When meeting friends or relatives, salam chetori. Salam halet chetore. When meeting a stranger, someone older, or someone we don't know well, Salam, Hale Shoma Chetore. To say good morning, Salam, Sob Bechayr. To say good night, Shab Bechayr. When leaving in a formal situation, Khoda Hafez. When leaving in an informal situation, Khoda Fez. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Anita's advice. In formal situations, Persian people of the same gender commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug and kiss each other on both cheeks. Don't be afraid to do this with your Persian friends. And don't be shocked when someone from the same gender tries to hug you or kiss your cheeks. It's perfectly normal. Remember that this is only if both people are the same gender. In Persian-speaking countries like Iran, you cannot shake hands or hug and kiss a person from the other gender in public. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Ingilisi sohbat nemikonid. Do you already know what this means? I'll be looking forward to talking about it with you in our next Persian in 3 minutes lesson. Odafez! Want to speak real Persian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at persianpod101.com. کیه؟ پست چی؟ یک بسته دارید. متشکرم. بفرمایید. خیلی ممنون. خواهش میکنم. سلام به همگی. من آنیتا هستم. Hi everybody. I'm Anita. Welcome to persianpod101.com's Persian in 3 minutes. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learned several of the most common greetings in Persian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking in Persian, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're asking, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal, an easy way to say it. Ingilisi baladi. Ingilisi baladi. In Persian, balad means can or to be able to. Adding e to the end makes it an informal question. Ingilisi baladi means can you speak or communicate in English? Literally, it's can you English? However, this is only used in very informal situations with close friends. Now we're going to make this sentence more polite by simply adding it to balad instead of e. 
it becomes a slightly more formal question. İngilisi baladit. İngilisi baladit. But it's always a good idea to be as polite as possible when addressing strangers. Here's the most polite form. Aya shoma İngilisi sohbet mi konit? Aya shoma İngilisi sohbet mi konit? Let's pay close attention to a useful new word here. Aya is a question word used at the start of sentences to turn a regular sentence into a yes or no question. Aya shoma İngilisi sohbet mi konid means do you speak English? By adding bebakhshid or excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Bebakhshid, aya shoma İngilisi sohbet mi konid? Bebakhshid. Aya shoma İngilisi sohbet mi konid? If someone replies to you in English, you'll know the answer to your question is yes. But if they answer you in Persian, you might receive one of these responses. Bale. Yes. Bale. Yek kami. A little. Yek kami. Na, man ingilisi sohbat nemikona. No, I cannot speak English. Na, man ingilisi sohbat nemikona. Or, na, man ingilisi balad nistam. No, I can't speak English. Na, man, ingilisi, balad, nista. Since this last example is a negative reply to a yes or no question, we need to say na, meaning no, at the beginning of the sentence. We also said nemikona, meaning don't, after the verb sohbat, meaning talk or speak. Or nistam, meaning am not after the verb balad, meaning can. Combined with sohbat, meaning talk or speak, now you know that sohbat nemikonam means I don't speak, and sohbat mikonid means you speak. Also, nistam is actually the negative version of hastam, but it looks slightly different in the negative form. Verbs and phrases change depending on the person speaking. Now it's time for Anita's advice. Persian people study the English language at school and love to use English, so most people will understand you if you speak to them in simple English. For those of you whose native language is not English, you can use this same basic question for any language you need. Here are some other language names in Persian. Italiai, for Italian. Rusi, for Russian. Espanyai, for Spanish and Almani for German. In this lesson, we mentioned that the expression Bebachshid means excuse me, but did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Persian. It's never too late to show your good manners when speaking with Persian people. I'll see you in our next Persian in three minutes lesson. Odafez! آخ می بخشید. بله؟ پاتون رو گذاشتین روی پای من. وای ببخشید. اشکالی نداره. خیلی عوض می خوام. In this lesson, we are going to learn numbers in Persian. Yes, numbers. Adad, from 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. سه دقیقه. Are you ready? Let's start. Yek. Yek. Do. Do. Se. Se. Char. Char. Panj. Panj. Shish. Shish. Half. Half. Hasht. Hasht. No. No, da, da. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yek, do, se, 
چهار پنج شش هفت هشت نه ده Great job. What is before yek? Do you know? It's sefr. Sefr. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Persian. Let's try it together. We'll use the phrase shomare man, which means my number is. You say the numbers after that, and then finish by saying ast. Shomare man. است شماره من صفر نو یک دو سه سه هشت هفت چهار پنج است Can you read it by yourself? شماره من صفر نو یک دو سه، سه، هشت، هفت، چار، پنج، است. Perfect. Now it's time for Anita's advice. You can give your phone number like this, but be careful because it's more common to group the numbers in Persian. For example, this phone number would probably be read as 0-912-338-0. 745. This makes them shorter to say and easier to remember. But how do you say numbers above 10? In the next lesson, we're going to learn just that. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson. From yek to da. Khodafez! Salam! Gaza chi mail darid? Mitunam list de gaza ro bebinam? بله، خدمت شما. لطفا کمی آب برایم می آورید؟ بله، چند لحظه؟ بفرمایید. ببخشید، میتونم غذا رو سفارش بدم؟ We're going to learn how to go shopping in Iran or any Persian speaking country. Before we go, you need to know how to say how much is it? If you want to know the exact translation, it would be چقدر است. چقدر است. But normally, in Iran, we use this instead. چند است. چند است. Are you ready to go shopping in Iran? Let's go. You see something you like and want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs. The first thing to say is ببخشید. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Bebakhshid in chand ast. Bebakhshid in chand ast. We need to ask this question while pointing at something. Asking how much is this or that. That's why we need to add either this or that before chand ast. Since Persian is a gender neutral language, you will only use this or that, as in English. It always agrees between genders. This, in, that, on. How much is this? In chandas. In, chand, ast. How much is that? On chandas. On, chand, ast. Now, if you want to put an object in here, remember that you always put an object or a noun after this and that. For example, if you want to ask for the price of a hat, kola, near you, it would be bebakhshid, in kola chand ast. Excuse me, how much is this hat? Bebakhshid, in kola chand ast. And if it was a bit further, you would say, Bebakhshid, on kola chand ast. Excuse me, how much is that hat? Bebakhshid, on kola chand ast. 
At this point, the shop clerk can answer by saying the price. The currency in Iran is toman. For example, in sat toman as. This is a hundred tomans. In sad toman as. Or he will just simply answer sad toman. Now it's time for Anita's advice. A quicker way to ask how much is chande. So when you ask for a coffee or a kahve at a cafe, you can ask yek kahve lotfan, chande. One coffee, please. How much is it? At this point, can you count tomans in Persian? We are going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next Persian in three minutes lesson. Khodafez! Want to speak real Persian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at persianpod101.com. In this video, you will listen to each dialogue twice. One version without the conversation's text, and one version with subtitles to read along with. Test your listening comprehension skills with this video. Ready? Mi tawanam komaketan kona? من به دنبال یک هدیه تولد برای همسرم هستم. پیشنهاد شما چیست؟ خب، این گردم بند چطور است؟ مم، یک مقدار بلند به نظر می رسد. اینهایی که اینجا هستن چطور؟ ما یکی با آویز گل داریم و یکی با آویز قلب. من دنبال چیز سطح بالاتری می گردم. قیمت آن گردم بند مروارید که آنجاست چند است؟ پانزده میلیون تومان. مم. آن خیلی گران است. باشه، من همان اولی رو برمیدارم. حتما، بفرمایید. چاپگر نورا کجا باید بگذاریم؟ مم. فکر کنم باید جایی که الان چاپگر کهنه است. اما چاپگر کهنه هنوز کار می کند. ما می خواهیم به استفاده از آن ادامه بدهیم. خب، پس ما نمی توانیم آن را آنجا بگذاریم. خیلی بد است. خوب بود اگر چابگر نو را در قفسه کتاب کنار در می گذاشتیم. اما آنجا فقط جا برای یکی هست. خب، پس من فکر می کنم باید آن را در گوشه دیگری از اتاق بگذاریم. درست است. کنار پنجره چطور است؟ خوب به نظر می رسد. من الان دارم به سمت خانه می آیم. باشه. می توانی در مسیر آمدنت به خانه چیزی بخری؟ حتما. می خواهی چه چیزی بگیرم؟ ما برای فردا صبحانه مقداری نان و شیر می خواهیم. شیر و نان. فهمیدم. چند بست شیر؟ یکی خوب است. باشه. چیز دیگر؟ یک لحظه. بگذار ببینم آیا کره داریم؟ بله. مقداری داریم. باشه. آیا آبجو باقی مانده است؟ بله، ما هنوز یک بطری اینجا داریم. خب پس، لازم نیست الان بخرم. درست است. من فکر می کنم که خوب است. مرسی. شما به یک گزارش هواشناسی گوش می کنید. پیش بینی چیست؟ ما کل صبح هوای آفتابی خواهیم داشت. اما بعد از ظهر ابری خواهد شد و شب باران خواهیم داشت. باران در طول شب ادامه خواهد داشت تا صبح زود فردا وقتی که خورشید دوباره بیرون بیاید. ما طرح‌های جدیدی برای کارت تجاری شرکت داریم. به نظر شما بهترین آنها کدام است؟ بگذارید ببینم. من فکر می‌کنم که نام شرکت باید بزرگتر باشد. پس باید یکی از اینها باشد. درست است. من این را دوست دارم چون نام شرکت بزرگ و بالا است. یکی از اینها جایی برای عکس دارد. نظر شما چیست؟ من فکر می کنم این باعث می شود نوشته ها کوچکتر شوند. بله، نوشته ها با عکس کمی سخت خوانده می شوند. پس بیایید آن یکی را انتخاب کنیم. خانومی در حال سوال کردن از آقایی در مورد محل ایستگاه اتوبوس می باشد. ایستگاه اتوبوس کجاست؟ ببخشید، 
شما می دونید آیا این نزدیکی ها ایستگاه اتوبوس هست؟ بله، اول مستقیم برید، بعد در دومین چراغ راهنمایی بپیچید به راست. سپس از کنار یک کتاب فروشی بپیچید به چپ و شما می تونید بانک رو ببینید. ایستگاه اتوبوس روبروی بانک است. متوجه شدم، خیلی ممنون. خانومی با رئیس خود صحبت می کند. در زمان ملاقات چه چیزی می نوشند؟ با مایکل از دفتر نیویورک امروز بعد از ظهر ملاقات خواهیم داشت. می دونی آیا نوشیدنی باقی مونده؟ قهوه می نوشیم. مم، مایکل قهوه نمی خوره. آیا بطری آب داریم؟ بله. فکر می کنم هنوز مقداری باقی مونده. عالی، خیلی خوب. شما هم چیزی می خواهید؟ عین اونو من هم دارم. ببخشید، من دنبال یک کامپیوتر واقعا سبک می گردم. باشه، این یکی چطوره؟ خیلی نازک و سبکه. قشنگه، می شدی ویدی با این کامپیوتر نگاه کرد؟ متاسفانه نمی تونید. میتونید دیویدی رو با اون یکی نگاه کنید ولی یه کمی بزرگتر و سنگین تره. مم، آره، این خیلی سنگینه. من اولی رو میخرم. خیلی ممنون. شما میتونید سفید، مشکی یا نقرهی رو انتخاب کنید. من مشکی رو میخوام. Are you feeling confident as a beginner level language learner? Are you ready to move up to the intermediate level? Here are some tips to help you make that leap and advance your language learning progress. Tip number one, determine your skill level. It's important to look across your skills in the major language competencies, listening, speaking, writing, and reading. By taking our level assessment test, you can review your skills in each competency and see your strengths and weaknesses. Keep in mind it's normal to be better in some skills than others. Premium Plus users can take our level assessment test and get personalized recommendations and learning pathways based on your results. Once you've figured out which skills need work, it's time to take action. No matter which of your language skills need to be improved, make sure you choose a method that's both effective and fun to help maintain your regular learning routine. Tip number two, listening. The most effective way to build your listening comprehension is by building a strong vocabulary. The more vocab you master, the easier it will be to understand the context and details of the conversation. Songs in the target language are a key listening tool that will teach you common, everyday vocabulary. By learning and memorizing the lyrics, you're building up your vocabulary. If you really want your listening skills to take off, listen to our podcasts. We have hundreds of hours of audio lessons for you to listen to. Before you know it, you'll be able to understand shows and movies. Tip number three, speaking. Add speaking elements to your language routine. Try shadowing podcasts, repeating along while you listen. Match the native speaker's pronunciation and intonation. This is a fantastic way to improve your fluency and accuracy. You can also find a partner for conversation exchange. A partner can help correct your mistakes and teach you more natural ways to phrase your ideas. Tip number four, writing. An easy way to start writing more often is by keeping a one sentence journal. Write one sentence in a journal every day. It doesn't take a lot of time and is a great habit for beginners to build a routine. You have to be consistent to make improvements. Ask native speakers to correct your writing to improve even faster. You can submit sentences and phrases to your teacher using Premium Plus. Tip number five, reading. Reading is a skill you can improve by yourself. There's no need to rush. It doesn't matter if you read one or 100 pages at a time. What matters is that you understand what you read. Write down new words as you read them to practice later. If there's an audio version, read along with the narrator. It'll help you read at a slightly faster speed than normal. You can use the audio that comes with each of our lessons. Bonus tip, never give up. Where do your language skills currently stand? Where do you want them to be? How do you get there? Whatever your goal is, make it clear and part of your life. You'll reach it if you stay focused and positive. And if you really want your skills to take off, 
make use of our tools and resources. They're designed to help you get to the next level in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account. Sign up takes less than 30 seconds. Click the link in the description and start learning right away. I'll see you there. Bye! زن و مرد در حال تماشای یک عکس هستند. به کدام عکس نگاه می کنند؟ این عکس تیم فوتبالی است که پسر شما در آن است. اینطور نیست؟ کدام پسر شماست؟ این یکی. اوه، او بلندترین فرد است. بله، او حتی از من هم بلندتر است. یک مرد و زن مشغول صحبت کردن هستند. چه زمانی می خواهند یک فیلم ببینند؟ نمی بریم شنبه آینده یک فیلم ببینیم؟ خیلی دوست دارم ولی یک کار پاره وقت در صبح دارم. چه ساعتی کار پاره وقتت رو تموم می کنی؟ من ساعت دو تمومش می کنم. پس قرارمون تو کافه ساعت سه. ساعت چهار هم یک فیلم ببینیم. باشه. یک آقایی داره با فروشنده مغازه صحبت میکنه. کدام پیراهن را میخواد بخره؟ مم، کدام پیراهن فکر میکنی بهتره؟ سفید یا آبی؟ خب، من فکر میکنم که آبی خوبه. اون به جاکت خاکستریت هم میاد. اینطوری فکر میکنی؟ ولی به کراوات قرمزم نمیاد. مگه نه؟ خب، بله، موافقم. باشه، پس من سفید رو برمیدارم. نه آبیه. مردی در همبرگر فروشی است. کدوم ست رو میخواد سفارش بده؟ ببخشید، میتونم ست برگر مخصوص رو سفارش بدم؟ بله، لطفا سیب زمینی سرخ کرده یا سالاد انتخاب کنید. سالاد لطفا. بله. لطفا نوشیدنی انتخاب کنید. کوکا لطفا. معلم در حال پختن کیک است. معلم چه چیزی داخلش ریخت؟ امروز می خواهیم یک کیک درست کنیم. اول کره و شکر رو مخلوط کن. سپس دو تخم مرغ اضافه کن و خوب هم بزن. آرد اضافه کن و به آرامی هم بزن. به مدت پنجاه دقیقه داخل آبم بگذار. همین. امروز میخوایی چکار کنی؟ میخواهم برم یک فیلم ببینم. باشه. من میخواهم یک بازی بیسبال تو تلویزیون ببینم. همچنین میخواهم خرید هم برم. بازی بیسبال ساعت یک بعد از ظهر شروع میشه. باشه. پس بگذار اول فیلم رو ببینیم. بعد تو میتونی بازی بیسبال رو تماشا کنی. باشه. بعدش اصر میریم خرید. من واقعا همه چیز را در کلاس امروز نفهمیدم. حتما. آیا شما سوالی دارید؟ بله. من سوالات زیادی دارم. آیا شما الان وقت دارید؟ من در حال حاضر کمی مشغول هستم. لطفا بعد از ظهر به دفتر من بیایید. من یک تا چهار بعد از ظهر آنجا خواهم بود. بسیار خوب. من دو بعد از ظهر آنجا خواهم بود. یک زن در رستوران در حال صرف نهار است. او چه چیزی می خواهد سفارش بدهد؟ آیا بعد از غذا قهوه و یا دسر میل دارید؟ چه دسر هایی دارید؟ ما پودینگ و پای سیب داریم. در واقع من فقط یک قهوه می خواهم، لطفا. آیا شما شکر و شیر می خواهید؟ لطفا آن را با شیر بیاورید. زنی منتظر یک مرد است. آن زن کجا منتظر خواهد ماند؟ سلام، متاسفم، اما من سی دقیقه دیرتر آنجا خواهم بود. باشد، من در کافه منتظر شما خواهم بود. کافه کجاست؟ کنار کتاب فروشی، یک نانوایی روبروی آن وجود دارد. بسیار خوب. 
یک مرد و یک زن در حال صحبت کردن هستند. زن در طول تعطیلات تابستان چه کاری می خواهد انجام بدهد؟ آیا شما قبلا برای تعطیلات تابستان خود برنامه ریزی کرده اید؟ هنوز نه. من فکر می کنم می خواهم به دریا یا کوه بروم. من می خواهم با دوستانم به دریا بروم. ما می خواهیم موج سواری کنیم. خوب است. چرا تو با ما نمی آیی؟ جالب خواهد بود. بله من با شما می آیم. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.